Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you have tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we highlight a different EMS drug that we administer out in the field. And we do this specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is not meant to be a replacement for medical advice. Today's medication is called oxygen. Oxygen, as most people know, falls under the class of gases. It is a naturally occurring gas within the atmosphere. The mechanism of action is that it reverses hypoxemia. Your indications and there are several, are going to be suspected or confirmed hypoxia, respiratory distress, acute chest pain in which a myocardial infarction is suspected, shock, trauma, or carbon monoxide poisoning. As always with your doses, I just want to remind you to please abide by your local protocol, but here are just some basic doses to go by. Your nasal cannula is one to six liters per minute. Your SVN or your small volume nebulizer is going to be six to 10 liters per minute. Your non-rebreather mask or your NRB is going to be 10 to 15 liters per minute and your BVM or your bag valve mask is 10 to 25 liters per minute. Okay, touching on our contraindications a little bit. Now, these are mainly going to be directed towards our COPD patients. Hyperventilation will be a contraindication. Certain COPD patients cannot tolerate high flow oxygen. Your adverse reactions are going to be dry mucous membranes. Obviously, oxygen is going to dry you out a little bit. Decreased level of consciousness. Now, this is specifically in your COPD patients or your decreased respiratory drive, also in your COPD patients. Your drug interactions are going to be none. That's something that you don't have to worry about. And how is it supplied? It's actually supplied in oxygen cylinders of 100% compressed oxygen. And typically these cylinders are gonna be green and white. Okay, some side notes about oxygen. Some COPD patients are not sensitive to the CO2 levels in their body. They breathe only because of their hypoxic drive. So if you leave them on high flow oxygen for an extended period of time, this can actually end up depressing the respiratory system. It can have fatal consequences. But if the patient is in a critical state, then don't withhold the O2, but be prepared to assist with ventilations. And side note number two, some protocols already reflect the recent studies advising not to apply supplemental oxygen on patients that are experiencing a confirmed heart attack and their O2 saturation is 94% or above. So in these cases, it's believed that the hyperoxemia can actually slow the perfusion of the heart and increase coronary vascular resistance. So ultimately, if the heart becomes reperfused, then this can cause a just a larger area of injury to the heart or what they call a reperfusion injury. As always, guys, please remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video and this information that I provide to you guys, it's purely for those in the EMS field and it is never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next Monday. Bye!